have teamed up with Pilot G2 this season, the go-to pin of the Kelly Clarkson Show, to celebrate the power of the pin and the written word. Um, this entire show is dedicated to handwritten letters that have made an incredible impact on someone's life. My next guest is passionate about writing letters. Not long ago, she wrote a simple thank you letter to her postman. There's no way she could have known it would connect her to postal workers nationwide, and that her story would become a book. Here to share it all is 11-year-old Emerson and her father, Hugh. Give it up! Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How are you doing today? Hi, Good. Kelly. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. How are you? I am swell, actually. So thank I you know what? I don't think I've ever used the word swell. That was a new one for me. I don't, I just jumped into like a Leave It the Beaver. What was that show called? Leave It to Beaver? I don't know what the show is called. I never watched it, but it sounds like. They use the word swell and gee golly a lot, maybe. Um, anyway, moving on, Emerson. Um, you've been writing letters for a while, right? Yeah, I have. I have uh, many pen pals around the country, and I love to write them letters because it just brings me so much joy. Part of my favorite things about writing letters is including jokes and decorating the envelope because I think it adds such a nice aspect of art to the letter. Oh, these, are, these are works yeah. of art, Kelly. They, they are they are beautifully decorated, but they also include a good joke, a, a mention of her brother Finn, and even if it's not related to the topic of the letter, they always always include a mention of Taylor Swift. Yeah, <laughs> I do. So I do like love her, Taylor Swift. I love that you're like her street team alone. That's who you're her street. I love <laughs> that. I love that. I love that right. you craft as well as writing. I love. That. I'm into that. Um, mm -hmm. Do you mind? Could you read us what you wrote to Doug? Of course, I have a copy of the letter right here. So when in my first letter, in my original letter to Doug, I wrote, Dear Mr. Mailman, I'm Emerson. You may know me as the person that lives here that writes a lot of letters and decorates the envelopes. Well, I wanted to thank you for taking my letters and delivering them. You are very important in my life. I make people happy with my letters, but you do too. The last thing I wrote was, P.S. My favorite singer is Taylor Swift. I love it. And and who did you write this letter to? Is it your postman, right? Yeah, I wrote a letter to my mail carrier, Doug. At the time, I didn't know his name, but I always saw him driving by delivering my letters. And I really thought that he deserved a letter because during this time, I stay connected because of him delivering my letters. That's so sweet. You have such a sweet heart. Um, that letter meant a lot, not just to Doug, but ultimately to postal workers coast to coast. Um, in fact, we have Doug's boss, Sarah, on the line to explain what happened next. What's up, Sarah? How you doing? Hi, Kelly. Hello. Well, Sarah, Doug showed you the letter as soon as he got it, right? He did. He brought it in to me when he was done with his route. And he said, you know, I think we ought to write this girl back. So I took the time and I read what she had to say and I wrote her back and I put her letter on a, a bulletin board there in the office so that everybody could see it when they passed by. Um, it got a lot of attention in the office. So then I submitted it to a internal newsletter um, that everybody could read around the nation, um, postal workers around the nation. So then everybody wanted to write Emerson. Oh my gosh. I mean, what a, <laughs> what a domino effect. Um, and Emerson, that must have been so exciting. I mean, here you are, you're the one usually writing all the letters and all of a sudden you're receiving um, all these letters from these people that have been touched by you. What did that feel like? Yeah, so when I, when I first received it, it was two boxes of letters from postal workers. And it was like, wow, like these people were touched by me thanking them we should really thank them more often because they don't get that gratitude as much as they deserve it. Oh what, my gosh. Well, Hugh, what, what, do you, what do you think about all this? Yeah, one, one of the most amazing things about it was just how um, much hu humanity was poured into it. Um, Emerson shares a little bit of her heart in each of these letters and brings a little bit of herself to each of these letters. But the letters that we received from the postal workers talked about sons and daughters deployed overseas and loneliness and disconnection and feeling like they weren't seen or heard. One wrote, um, I know that you'll probably be busy after this uh, and won't be able to write me back, but maybe I can just write you t from time to time. So there was this sense that there was this deeply personal and human connection. And we just assured her, there was kind of an avalanche of mail here for a while. We just assured her it wasn't her responsibility necessarily to respond to them all, but she responded to a lot of them. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of letter writing. Sarah, you and Emerson, y'all become pen pals, right? We have actually. Um, 
her and I probably have written uh, every other month since this has started. Um, uh, she'll send me uh, pictures that she's drawn or coloring pages, and every letter will always include a joke. Cracks me up every time. Um, most recently, actually, she had sent me uh, what she called a letter explosion. So in one day, I got like six or seven letters all at once. And it just, it touched my heart. It was during a day when I needed it the most. So Aww. it came at the perfect time. It was just very endearing. She's a wonderful young lady.